Shalom and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We are glad that you could join us as we look and learn at God's Word. This series we have been looking at the truth that is applicable from God's Word to all of us, but especially to the youth. Jeremy has been sharing some thoughts about his life stage and we've been looking at God's Word together. So, Jeremy, what would you like to share today? So, today my thought is that our world is so full of its sinful and unclean temptations and that it's uh, so easy to gratify all of these with modern technology, with just a tap on our computer or a click on our phone. And uh, with all these temptations to our flesh, um, what can we do? Okay, so um, you have brought about how do we, how does one deal with the lust? You know, lust is something that we are all susceptible to, whether it be a young person, whether it be an old person, or whether it be middle-aged. We all have temptations. We all face difficulties and challenges and temptations that especially cater to our fleshly nature. And in today's scripture, Paul is actually addressing this to a young believer, which is Timothy. And I'd like to read to you from 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 22. It says, Flee also youthful lusts, but pursue righteousness, faith, love, peace, with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. So Paul's word to Timothy concerning lust is to all believers. Now, all because it's written as uh, youthful lust, it doesn't mean it's just for the youth, but it is applicable to each one of us. And so let's unfurl that, that entire verse. And there are two verbs that this scripture talks about. And I'd like to help you understand what is it that you can do actively. And the first definitive and active verb that it talks about is flee. What does the word flee mean? It means to run away. It means uh, to escape, to turn away from. It, it doesn't mean to struggle with, but it actually means to run away from. And the Bible here does not say that we resist these lusts or to overcome it with a strong faith, but it says to run away. And that's something that we even see in other places of scripture that we make no provision for these lusts. So we are to move away from these lusts because if we give in or we indulge in this, it tends to damage and to destroy us. So that's the first thing, to flee. And what does it say after that? It says to pursue. That's the next verb. And what does pursue mean? It means to seek. It means to search. It means to run after. It means to follow. And what are we called to run after? What are we going to run after? It says, we run after righteousness. We run after uh, faith, love, and peace. So righteousness, we run after righteousness in the way that we li live, meaning all that is good, all that is good for our right living, and all that is in accordance to what God says, what God's thoughts are for you. It also says to pursue faith, faith towards God, knowing Him, knowing His will, being sure of your salvation. And it says, pursue after love and peace, love and peace towards others. Now, this, these things that you do is not a one-time thing. It's something that you need to do daily. Flee daily from those youthful lusts and pursue righteousness day after, day after. Because when we do, do that, we become vessels of God's honor and we are fit enough to be used by the Master. When we flee from lust and we pursue Him, pursue what He wants for us, we are in a place of utility for God's, for God's use. Shall we pray together, Jeremy? Heavenly Father, we thank you that your word gives us direction we pray that through your spirit that we will pursue your righteousness, we will pursue the right things of you, Father, that we will pursue our relationship with you because in that we are safe. 
thank you for what you have given us through your word today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.